Artists use line and shape to draw. They use pattern to put the lines and shapes together. Line and shape are elements of art. Pattern is a principle of art design. Kindergarten explores the continent of Australia. Australia is a big island. An island is land with water all the way around it. The Aborigines people live in Australia. They are known for their x-ray art. They picture both the inside and outside of the animal. For this project, you will draw an x-ray fish. Use lines and shapes to help you draw. You will need to gather paper, crayons, tempera paint, and a sponge. Please continue to watch the video for more directions. You will draw the fish using basic shapes. Then you will sponge print space around the fish. This is optional. Or you can draw wavy lines for water. When you are done, snap a clear photo and send it to Mrs. Hughes no later than December 4th. Remember, you are getting a grade in art, so it's very important that you take your time and do your best work. Make something that you can be really proud of. In kindergarten, you are learning about Australian art. This is a painting by an Aborigines artist. It's called an x-ray painting because the artist tried to show the inside of the fish. We're going to draw our own x-ray fish using some basic lines and shapes. You will need paper and some crayons. I'm using construction paper crayons. We're going to start with the body of the fish. Draw a curved line that goes up, around, and down. Then draw a curved line underneath that goes down, around, and up. You can use straight lines for the top and bottom of the tail coming out of one end, and then a wavy line down for the end of the tail. We'll need some fins. Draw a curved line near the front of the fish, pointing back towards the tail. Leave some space and draw another curved line, and then a wavy line. We'll put a fin on the bottom, curve line, curve line, wavy line. Then we'll draw a curve line to separate the head from the body. You can use a circle for the eye. I like to draw with one color color the inside with a different color. Then we'll draw half a smile. For the bones, I'll start with a line across the middle of the body. Then draw angles. artist showed the outside of the fish's body. So I will draw a line above the bones, below the bones, and then I could draw the scale You could draw whatever kind of lines you want for your scales. And then you need 
paint some lines on the fins and tail. For the rest of the picture, you could draw water lines. That could be wavy lines. If you have a sponge and paint, you could sponge print around the fish. And then you have your own x-ray fish painting. I hope you have fun making your x-ray fish.